and thank you for joining us. I'm Tish Pendergast. And I'm Crystal Sisko. Coming up on this seventh edition of UCP News. Two chances to get your groove on. UCP receives national recognition for the first time ever. And a controversial new treatment. But first we begin with our top story. Next month, April, is Autism Awareness Month. And to celebrate that, UCP of Maine will be heading to the Augusta State House on April 2nd from 2.30 to 5 p.m. for Maine Autism Awareness Day. Our friends from the Maine Autism Alliance are hosting this event, which takes a whole collaboration of nonprofits, community leaders, parents, and individuals living with autism. We spoke to the Maine Autism Alliance about why raising awareness is so important. April 2nd. We'll be holding the first uh, Maine Autism Awareness Day at the Hall of Flags at the State House in Augusta. Um, the time uh, we're, is between uh, two thirty and five, and it's it's the perfect day. It's a great way to come and learn about autism in Maine because the the numbers are growing. It's 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 a different time as as our children grow older. And, um, you know, we're going to have to have certain services in place. And uh, our mission really revolves a lot around education. And that includes, you know, support groups and providing workshops from experts in the field of autism and hosting various events like the upcoming April 2nd event, you know, to educate the communities across Maine about autism. We would like to thank Heidi and the Maine Autism Alliance for advocating for this amazing cause. For more info, visit maineautism.org and be sure to stop by the Hall of Flags in Augusta on April 2nd and show your support. And the celebration of Autism Awareness Month reaches our neck of the woods as well. UCP of Maine is teaming up with our friend Jill Cram for a mini fundraiser around Avon products, with 40% of the proceeds going right back to UCP. We spoke with her recently about this exciting partnership. I'm doing a fundraiser for UCP of Maine. I um, picked April for Autism Awareness Month to do this, and this is our second year that I've been doing this. And the goal is to raise as much money as possible for UCP by selling Avon products and giving them 40% of the profit. My niece and nephew both have autism and I actually was a teacher for UCP many years ago when they were there. They've been, they were there when they were, see they started at two and they went on to public school at five and they're 18 and 17 now. Um, and in the meantime, they still use all the services we used to be. They use the in-home support, the case management, the respite care. Um, so it was, it's been a huge help to my sister-in-law. We want to thank Jill for her support around our cause and for making us firm believers in Avon Lip Gloss. For more information, visit our website, ucpofmaine.org. One of our most highly anticipated events is coming right up. Our annual spring dance is taking place on Friday, May 11th at the William S. Cohen School in Bangor. Now, this dance is put on by our advocacy committee and it's specifically for people with disabilities. Admission is $2 or a $2 donation and Crystal and I are particularly fond of this dance because not only do we have so much fun getting twirled around the dance floor like rag dolls, but we also have learned some pretty cool new dance moves along the way. At an event where you could witness those pretty cool dance moves are Life Without Limits Gala, and tickets are now on sale. They go for $30 per person or $50 per couple. Remember, it takes place on Friday, May 4th at Hollywood Casino Hotel and Raceway, right in Bangor. They're actually sponsoring the event as well, so we want to thank them for that. We have some amazing auction items, some wonderful entertainment by the band Midnight Rose. We hear there might be some surprises in the works for those who attend as well. For more information, visit our website, ucpofmaine.org. UCP of Maine was in the spotlight, literally. On March 16th, video production students from area high schools and colleges participated in the Skills USA competition at United Technology Center in Bangor, or UTC. There were actually 64 contests within this competition. For this specific competition, the students had to create a commercial for UCP of Maine, produce, shoot, write, and edit the whole works, all in a completely timed setting. A total of eight teams participated, and their final commercials were then shown to a panel of judges, and they were critiqued and given scores. The winner? A wonderful public service announcement by a UTC team highlighting the fact that UCP of Maine is so much more than our name. Keep your eyes out for that PSA. You may just see it on WABI TV5. The winning team from UTC will take their commercial 
to the Skills USA National Championship in Kansas City. We wish them luck. It was an amazing commercial. A controversial medical treatment is on the rise. The Ashley treatment, named for the first recipient, is an approach that uses hormone therapy to essentially stunt the growth of children with severe disabilities, keeping them physically small and preventing their bodies from maturing sexually. According to DisabilityScoop.com and the London Guardian, only a handful of children have received this treatment, but thousands and thousands of families are reportedly interested. Of course, there are two very different sides to this issue. Supporters, which are actually mostly parents of children with disabilities, say that the Ashley treatment can improve their child's quality of life, minimizing the pain and discomfort associated with growing, and ultimately increasing the likelihood that those parents can care for their own children into adulthood. But, of course, disability advocates argue that the Ashley treatment is in violation of the civil rights of people with disabilities. They fear that this may eventually turn into the idea that people with disabilities have no social worth and don't need to be integrated into society. We will have more updates on this controversial and groundbreaking treatment as the information becomes available. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is about to make some big waves. According to DisabilityScoop.com, they are expected to release a report on the prevalence of autism, a report that is anticipated to drastically change the current numbers of autism, affecting 1 in 110 children. Those numbers were last updated in 2009. Autism rates have skyrocketed, with the estimates increasing 18-fold in just the past three decades. It is not yet known what is causing this severe increase. Some attribute it to the increased diagnosis, while others believe it is an actual higher occurrence of autism. Either way, the CDC report is expected to be released as early as this month. We are hoping to be able to report those numbers to you in our next UCP broadcast. And moms of children with autism earn significantly less money than moms of typically developing kids, about 56% less on average. This according to a recent study published by the journal Pediatrics. Researchers analyzed data of families of nearly 70,000 kids taking part in a government survey, some with autism and other disabilities, some without. But they believe a lack of support for children with autism is the actual reason for the income difference. That lack of support results in the moms working lower wage jobs or holding lower positions in those jobs. Another issue is lack of awareness of the support that does exist. Now, agencies like UCP of Maine offer a variety of programs and services for children with autism, but not a lot of moms know that. That's one of the many reasons UCP News exists, to inform the public of our agency, our cause, and what we can do to help. Speaking of UCP News, did you know that we are now nationally acclaimed? Yes, we are. Well, sort of. UCP of Maine is a proud recipient of the Ritter Legacy Award given by our national affiliate. Well, we haven't actually received the award yet, so you'll have to turn into our next UCP News broadcast to learn more. And as always, if you would like to donate to our cause, check out ucpofmaine.org and click on the Donate button. And be sure to check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash ucpofmaine, and our Twitter page, twitter.com slash ucpofmaine. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. us. See you next time. time.